Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 79. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 78 to 81. Remember, there's always lots of notes up at the top if you download these. Hey, uh, this YouTuber said, hey, I want to make a little inventory table that will automatically calculate whatever my current total quantity is. So here's a little table. There's the date the cost when we purchased it, the supplier name, the quantity purchased or sold. See here we just recorded the items we sold, none of the transactional detail. Here we go. Um, let's click in this cell right here. And we're going to Alt equals. Alt and equal sign is the keyboard shortcut for the auto sum. And then immediately I'm going to hit Shift colon because I want it to say e uh, one cell to my left uh, colon one cell to my left and then I immediately want to double click the first e cell reference E12 and hit the F4 key twice so that it's locked with a dollar sign in front of the number. This formula will calculate a running total. As we copy this down the range will expand. That will be locked on E12 but this will be free to move. Control enter and control enter just keeps the cell highlighted and puts the thing in the cell. And then I'm going to point to the fill handle and I'm going to click when I see my angry rabbit there, that little crosshair, and drag down. Now that's kind of annoying. Um, templates like this are very common and you want to have the formula uh, pre made, but you don't want it to show you the result if no uh, transaction is entered here. So uh, let's go back up to the top cell and I'm going to hit F2. And we're going to do an if. I'm going to click right between the equal sign and the first part of our formula and say if, open parentheses. And I would like to go, and the way you decide when you're making templates like this is you got to pick a column where there will always be data entered. Notice sometimes there's not a cost or a supplier, so that wouldn't be a good uh, column to pick. I'm going to pick date because you always have to enter a date. I'm going to click on that cell, which is really one, two, three, four to my left. If four cells to my left equals, and then I'm going to do double quote, shift double quote, two double quotes. That means blank, so if that cell is blank, then comma, then we want a double quote, which is a blank in this cell. Otherwise, I want that, and maybe it's easier to see there, otherwise I want that sum to calculate. And I'm going to click on the end. Remember, it's usually safer to come up here and click and close parentheses. That formula is a great formula for templates, whether it's a bank reconciliation or inventory or all sorts of other tables, invoices. I'm going to double click and send this down. And because there's formulas all the way down, it'll just send all the way down. Now see, the formula still is working. I mean, it's still there. You just can't see it because it's evaluating to blank. Now, let's just test this. Let's say on 12 slash 1 slash 2008. Um, someone bought uh, 5, so we'll put minus 5, and so this should go down to 43. Now let me show you another way uh, to do this. I'm going to, um, you don't have to use a formula to turn on and off uh, something that you see in Excel. You could use conditional format. Now I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2, and then I'm going to very carefully scoop this out. This is a way of copying a formula without having the cell references move at all. So I'm going to control C, and then I'm going to tab, tab, and I'm going to control V. And then, uh, actually, I don't really need to do that because I don't want that if there. Here, let's do this again, equals SUMs. Notice I can just type right over what's ever in that cell. I'm going to click two cells to my left, and then uh, shift colon. And then close parentheses, and then I'm going to double click this right here and hit F4 key to lock it. The dollar sign's in front of the 12. Control Enter, and then I actually drag it all the way down. Now we're going to use con conditional formatting. Conditional formatting in 2003 is under the Format menu. Uh, it's in the Home ribbon in 2007. Now the way it works is when you highlight a range, it's the active cell you got to be uh, aware of because that's where we're going to build our formula in the conditional formatting dialog box. I'm going to go up to Home, Styles, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. But there's a keyboard shortcut that works in all versions, Alt-O-D. And then I'm going to click on New Rule. In 2003, you click on uh, the first text box and point to Formula Is. Use Formula. 
And then our formula is simply going to be, notice that we're building a formula here, but it's actually stored in memory, and it will be in the active cell and copied down just like it was a real formula. So we all we want to say is, is this many cells directly to my left, and then I hit, need to hit my F4 key to make sure it's a relative cell reference. If that equals blank, that's a true-false. It either equals blank, which is true, or uh, it doesn't equal blank. Format. And a number tab didn't exist in earlier uh, versions, um, but the font does. And the font is what we want here. We want to go to color. Remember, this is a true false. If it is blank, notice we have uh, green in the cell. So we're going to have to pick that same green to make the font green. I'm going to have to go to more colors in 2007 and click on that one right there. you got to pick the same color. Click OK, click OK, click OK. Wow, that's a lot of OKs. And so that's how to do it with conditional formatting. You can see the formula is still there up here in the uh, formula bar. All right, uh, that's how to build a little inventory um, table with uh, an if to turn on and off on a formula or conditional formatting. All right, see you next Excel trick.